good, the police are here, yay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hope you don't get fired over this, Garcia. How you doing, gentlemen? How we doing today? Great. Uh, I have this man on tape. I told him that I called Starbucks to complain that he was harassing me. Okay. And he told me because I called Starbucks customer service that I would have to leave the premises. Okay. So I'm waiting for his supervisor to call me back right now. Because obviously you can't kick somebody out just for calling a supervisor, correct? It's, it's private property. So you, he's telling you to leave. Uh -huh. Okay. You can leave or you're going to have to leave and wait for the call from the supervisor somewhere else besides here. You don't have to be here waiting for the call. I can't stay at Starbucks? Can, not right now, no. Because? Because you're being trespassed. By because it. because this man decided that I'm trespassing because I called customer service. I just, I, I don't I, talk to him yet. No, okay. So well, you he, talk to him. I'll wait here. He, my partner will talk to him. Okay. okay. So he's saying uh -huh. he trespassed him. You can't, you, can't, you can't be here anymore. I don't know why right yeah. now, Okay, but he works for Starbucks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Starbucks isn't kicking me out. He's, he is. He is. Okay. Okay. On behalf of Starbucks. He tried to keep me from, from buying a drink here. Okay. And then they said it was okay. So then when I Starbucks asked him about Starbucks, okay. said it was okay. I can stay if I buy a drink. Okay. So then this guy lies about it and tries to say he never said that, even though I have him on tape saying that. Okay. So when I tell him that I call Starbucks customer service to complain, he said, because of that, you're now trespassing and you have to leave. Okay. And you said you got all that on tape, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, should be. A week ago. Yeah, a week ago, but no one has come to fix it. If you want, you can go ahead and call, contact the corporate about I it. I have been. I don't understand how they can leave. It's been a week. How can yeah, they possibly we're, leave? Yeah, we're just as sad about it as you are. It my name is Linda. Hi, Linda. Well, um, if you look at my account there, I've been calling in for now, it's been nine days that this Starbucks has been without Wi-Fi. Nine days without Wi-Fi, and I'm, I'm, my mind is boggled that no one seems to be able to fix it. I just talked to the store manager, and she says somebody from tech support called her yesterday to troubleshoot. Is that normal Starbucks policy after a store has been without Wi-Fi for an entire week? Someone calls to troubleshoot it from the tech department? Because this is mind-boggling to me. Your Wi-Fi's been out for a week. I know, we totally called it in and they gave they called us yesterday and they were trying to troubleshoot it and then they After said, a week of it being out, yeah. they called the troubleshooter? Yeah, and then they could, oh we'll call you back. And they didn't even leave me a callback number. I'm sorry, I called you guys last Monday and I believe last Wednesday to complain about the Wi-Fi. I was told that uh, the information would go out to the district manager and someone would fix it and now it's a week later and they're telling me that somebody from tech support just finally called them yesterday but it's still not fixed and it's still not fixed yeah nine days it's the one that the sports arena boulevard one that i just purchased a beverage at you think I'm a filmmaker and I'm homeless so the only way I can upload my films is with Wi-Fi so I come down here I expect to spend the day working on my films and instead I'm uploading on 3G which is the best I can get at this location and it's taking 10 times as long because no one at Starbucks seems to know how to fix a Wi-Fi router. And I was trying to get them to send a tech down and it didn't work. So right now we're- When did it go down? It went down around like a week and a half ago yeah. and I've been calling every other day and it's just- They just won't come out and fix They just won't come out and we didn't. We don't know what to do. Can I have, have your no district accident. manager's phone number? Yeah, let me go grab that right. real quick. I'm like, I should have a Hi Alyssa, this is Seth Aronson returning your call. Hey Seth, how are you? 
Um, pretty terrible. I just got kicked off of uh, the property. Uh, apparently because I called Starbucks and complained. Okay, can you uh, help me understand what happened? Well, first of all, before we get into it, uh, since I've been trying to reach you for literally weeks now, can you explain to me how the uh, Wi-Fi was out for two full weeks at the uh, at the Starbucks in question? Unfortunately, I don't have a great response. Other than our texts were there probably about seven times, and we're working to, re working to resolve it every day, and they were having an issue with the part um, that they had to order and couldn't get in. So I don't have... I, I agree that it's not acceptable on the timeline. Um, I had it down for about, I showed that it was down for about two weeks and it was up and going as of the 10th. Um, and you said there, techs were there every day working on it? Techs were there almost every day, yes. And I was trying to get them to send a tech down and it didn't work. So right now we're- When did it go down? It went down around like a week and a half ago yeah. and I've been calling every other day and it's just- They just won't come out. They just won't come out and we didn't. We don't know what to do. Can I have your district manager's phone number? Um, and you said texts were there every day working on it? Texts were there almost every day, yes. And then they After said, a week of it being out, yeah. they called the troubleshooter? Yeah, and then they could, oh, we'll call you back. And they didn't even leave me a callback number. Okay, now now I got a real now I got a real question. So, are you lying to me, or was the store manager lying to me? Because she told me about nine days into the outage that the techs hadn't even come out there yet, and she was calling them every other day. Well, what I can say from my knowledge is that I was in the store. I called on it when I was at the store. The tech was there, and I saw him there almost every day that I was there working on it. So then why would the store manager tell me the techs, as of nine days into it, say the techs had never even come out there yet? And she was trying to get well, them to I, even even to troubleshoot over the phone. You know, I'm not sure, but what I can say is that when I was at the store, I saw the tech, and that they were working to resolve it. I agree with the timeline of resolution. Um, Standard, so what's what's I the normal outage time if if Wi-Fi is down in the store? What's the normal time range that it's out? It would depend on the reasons why it's down. What's the longest you've ever seen before this one? I have never had Wi-Fi down as long as I have at the most recent occasion as a fourth grade store. See, the stories just don't add up. I mean, every, everyone there has been lying about what happened. See, I don't think this, the Wi-Fi was out at all. I think it was just out for me, which is why everyone's acting so strangely and why... Because if, if it really was a problem with the, the router, like you said, and techs had come out every day, all they have to do is replace the router. It wasn't a problem with the router. What was, so. the, what was the problem? You know what, honestly... I'm not a tech, so I, I couldn't get into it. Is there someone I could, because I'm just fascinated by how, because I could have, if I had a car, I could have driven to Massachusetts, new equipment, driven all the way back and installed it, and still had it back up and running in less than two weeks. So I'm trying to figure out how Wi-Fi goes out for two weeks, how there's not even a sign put up in the window warning people that a Wi-Fi is out, how everyone seems to be lying about when techs came out. I mean, it seems a little strange to me. After three times of not contacting me, she finally contacted me when I finally asked for a regional manager, and that's when she didn't get back to me that weekend. And then the next week, she set an appointment and then pretended like we had never set an appointment. So I don't, I mean, this is unbelievable to me. As I mean, I've worked customer service most of my life. I would never, in a million years, if you stand somebody up, your next contact with them is, oh my God, I'm sorry, I had this, that, and the other thing. There was some kind of excuse instead of just pretending like, oh, sure, I'd like to get together with you. Like I haven't been waiting two weeks for her to simply say that I'm allowed it on the property again. I mean, I understand why I had to go through this whole meeting her process just to, for what you finally did yesterday, which was say I'm allowed back there. This is ridiculous, Scott. I mean, it really is. I've never seen anything like this. What, what's been the next uh, no, uh, I found out. You know, let me look into this because, you know, what, what we want to do is once we get notified, we want to resolve these issues. The, the last part is that in the two weeks before they kicked me out, the Wi-Fi was down at that location, or at least that's the official yeah. story, for two weeks. Does that... Uh, that, that, I, that actually is correct. That was the one thing I knew about, you know, prior to your complaint, because what happens is when, that, when the Wi-Fi goes down, 
not good. It actually cripples all the register. Because we're suffering too. No, I, I used understand. up all my data already. I, I don't understand. Well, here's what I here's what I don't understand about the Wi-Fi being down. At about nine days into it, I asked the store manager, "What's going on?" I I mean, at that point, I could have gotten in a car, driven to Massachusetts, picked up a new router, come back and installed it, and it would have been quicker than that was going. Now, the store manager told me this was nine days into the outage that she was calling the the techs every other day, and they still hadn't come out to fix it. And they had only just that day done uh, uh, like a question and answer with her to try to troubleshoot it. Now, when I talked to, to Alyssa, the district manager on the phone, she told me that there were texts there on the premises every single day of the outage. Now, both of those things cannot be true. Yeah, no kidding. I'm from, so I, I'm going to look and validate this now. So, so, so you're, so now you're, te you're telling me that the the store manager was unaware that techs were coming in after dark and trying to fix the program, the the problem. That, that, that could be, that could be possible if she's not, if she's not doing an effective job of records, right? Because uh, you call it in, the tech can get sent out. Uh, they don't always just send out over they, they get sent out through through us, through Seattle, right? So mm -hmm. they and report that. So if the team members are not talking to the manager and vice versa. But the, um, for nine days, so, okay. So for, so for nine days, she doesn't know that there's text coming in every day, and they're still unable to fix it. And it, it's well, also I don't know about I don't know about that or the, you know, but I know from when I from when I asked something about it, um, I was saying it was it's going to be a fact we were about four or five days in, and then that's when I said, hey, where are we at with this? And that's when I know all of a sudden I start getting all these updates from there. So I don't know about the whole nine day period she might have been. She might have called it in and didn't follow up diligently, and then that's where there was no one in there to address that with that store manager. Uh, but as far as like the result time, it did take us uh, a considerable amount of time. I mean, I want something to fix that is not within an hour, right? Well, and, you, you and think. It was well, the, it, it was weird because there didn't seem to be anyone else. I like. I only during those two weeks I probably spent four days there because each time I go back I'm like by now it's fixed and I get there and it's still not fixed so I'd have to upload stuff I have on uh, 180 more minutes for this to upload it would have taken about 15 minutes if there was Wi-Fi it was interesting that people were set up with their computers I I'd sometimes sit there for like four hours I didn't hear anyone complain at one point the uh, second or third day I was there I went up to somebody and she was at the end of her shift and I asked if the Wi-Fi was down again or still down, and she didn't even know it was down. So the point I'm getting at, Scott, is I don't think the Wi-Fi was down for everybody. I think it was just down for me for those two weeks, and I think that's why everyone's lying about what happened. So how would we turn it down for just you? Well, I, I'm guessing Homeland Security asked you to. This is the federal building. How are you doing, gentlemen? Um, I'm actually here uh, for a redress of my grievances. I want a redress of my grievances, and uh, why don't you guys to stop bugging me? Stop bugging me, please! Stop bugging me! Stop bugging me! Thank you. You guys, stop bugging me, please. Now you have a thousand ladybugs in your lobby. What happens now? Sir, what are you here for? 
I'm here to seek a redress of my grievances. Okay. Why did you dump all those bugs all over Bobby? Because I'm a big fan of metaphor. Is this still on? Yeah. Hey, come on out here. Oh, okay. Can I get my water or no? No. Okay. That's okay. This is, what's your name, sir? Here. Can I let go of this? Yeah. Let me set these bags right. down. I have no weapons. All right. There's like a, a, a small, Where's dull knife. You down. have bugs, sir. I do have bugs all over. Because I was protesting the, uh, the whole, see the bugs? Okay. Okay. What's your, what's your business today? Uh, doing a political protest. Okay, well you can't go inside the federal, you can protest all you want out here, uh -huh. but you can't go inside the federal building like that, sir. Yeah. Okay? You can't do that. So tell me something. I yes, love, sir. I love ladybugs. You I love ladybugs? I think they're wonderful. Uh -huh. so, but why, why would you walk around with ladybugs on? I just bought them. Just I just bought them for this. So you just kind of want to, yep. What could you possibly be protesting with ladybugs? Well, the government bugging Americans for, you know, against the Constitution, that whole Fourth okay. Amendment thing that get, got thrown okay. out with the Patriot Act. So that kind of rhymes. I get it. Bug. Bug. Yeah, it doesn't just rhyme. You, it's a you, metaphor. You pick a, a nice, not so intrusive bug, right? Yes. You got, it's a, you it's a beneficial roaches. insect. Thank insect, God you didn't have roaches. No, no roaches. Okay, so a beneficial bugs. insect. Now listen. This, real quick, is this address valid? I'm homeless. So, I so don't, you have no home right so now. So I have so no this home. Is not good. You cannot protest in there, okay? You can exercise I'm sorry. your personal sorry, right can I, I'm so, can I push the YouTube? Poor YouTube no, people you have been getting... Your phone's alone okay. right now. We're live. I'm just saying. Okay, well, that's great. Awesome. But you cannot go into a federal building with bugs all over you, sir. And yet okay? I just did. Well, yes, and now you're out here. Okay. you should be. Okay? All right. So I guess that was it, huh? Really thought... That's this. not it. Okay, what happens now? I just hold tight. Ah. Okay. Matter of fact, sit back over there. Sure. No, no arrests. They just wrote me a ticket and uh, say say goodbye to the DHS officers, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for I guess not arresting me. And I still don't get a redress of my grievances. Oh well.